going on people this is Spiderman here once again with another film review and this time I'm talking about a film called Stalker from 2015 this is a sort of a thriller Australian movie and it stars one of my favorite actors in horror uh, from Wolf Creek fame John Jarrett uh, aka Mick Taylor if you guys haven't seen those films I highly recommend you guys watch it the Wolf Creek films there's also a TV show, which I haven't watched, but I heard it's good. Anyway, so this film, um, I had seen the trailer a while back, like a long time ago. And I was really intrigued by this film because, you see, in this film, uh, the character that John Jerry plays in this film is actually different from what I'm used to seeing him, you know, because in Wolf Creek, in the Wolf Creek films, uh his character, you know, Mick Taylor, is usually the one torturing people. And in this film, his character is the one, the roles are kind of reversed. His character is actually the one getting his ass uh, beat and, you know, and abused. So, I don't know, man. I thought it was a cool role reversal, you know. But anyway, so this film is about this guy named Jack and this girl named Emily. And Jack decides to stalk this girl named Emily, and Emily's, you know, a older woman, and so is Jack. So he decides to stalk her at her home, and then what Jack doesn't know is that Emily has her own tricks, her own tricks up her sleeve. You know, she's uh, very psychotic, and one might even say more psychotic than Jack. So. Uh, <laughs> Jack gets more than what he bargains for when he breaks in Emily's house and there's this sort of dark humor to the dark humor feel to the whole film like right off the bat and we have sort of like this sick banter between these two characters uh, you know and it's very funny you know like John Jarrett I think whatever film he does he's very funny just him playing him, you know, whatever character he plays, he just has this certain dark humor quality. This, I don't know what it is. It's just he's just a good actor, man. And um, the character played by Emily, I thought she was pretty good too. I had never seen her in any other films, but both uh, John Jarrett and uh, the character that plays Emily, they both directed this film. I think, uh, yeah, they both directed the film. So that was kind of interesting to know that, you know, um, and they did a good job with this. I mean, there's dark humor here. There is uh, Australian humor, of course, um, but I understood uh, most of the dialogue. This movie is very dialogue heavy. There's a lot of talking. So if you're not a fan of a movie that's mostly dialogue driven, then you might not like this film. But I mean, it's funny. It's like... It's sort of like watching Clerks, but a darker, more darker version of Clerks, I guess, in a way. It had a Clerks feel to it. Just because Clerks has a lot of dialogue in that, too. So, But I really enjoyed this film. I mean, it took a while to get going. But the main reason, like the only reason I watched this film was because John Jarrett is in the film, you know. And that's really the only reason why I wanted to watch this film. But, you know, like I said, uh, what's your name, uh... Karen Fairfax, who plays Emily, did a wonderful job, and, you know, I mean, these two characters are just very funny and very interesting, and have, like, this on-screen uh, chemistry that really works, and there is a little bit of gore in here, not a lot for, like, gore hounds, you know, if you're, if you're really expecting a lot of gore in this film, you're not going to find it, um, but there is some gore, there's some blood in here, there is some you know, gross out moments, I guess you could say, but it's mostly a thriller and horror thriller, I guess you could say, psychological thriller, but I really like, I really like the dialogue in this film, it really, you know, it was really funny, I couldn't stop laughing, and I highly recommend you guys check this film, it's called Stalker, and yeah, at the end of the day, what do I give this film? I give this film an 8 out of 10. Because, like, I wasn't really expecting much, but I know that John Jarrett, you know, he he sort of makes the film. 
I mean, in the Wolf Creek films, he sort of like steals a show in those films. So I wasn't expecting anything less. But right here, like the two main lead roles, like really, really do a good job, man. And it really kept me interested in the film. It didn't drag too much. And I really had a good time watching this film. I would recommend you guys get it on Blu-ray DVD. But if you can stream it, like do so ASAP. Uh, should be on uh, Netflix or whatever. Uh, whatever, wherever you stream your films. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend you guys check this film out. We're almost to 100 subscribers, and I really appreciate you guys. If you guys like, comment, or if you've seen this film, what did you guys think? Are you guys fan of the Wolf Creek films or John Jaron in general? Let me know down in the comments below. And yeah, I will talk to you guys later. All right, peace.